out there in TV land is feeling fine too and we are going to start with the songbook the ring ding songbook and today we're going to be doing work songs right get ready for the the work and the first one we're going to do is Umana Heavy Load <laughs> Umana heavy load, in man a heavy load, Umana heavy load. When Saturday morning come, when the money not enough, when the money not enough, when the money not enough, them lo mo them mouth pon you. But when the money enough, when the money enough, when the money enough, them laugh and talk with you. Them call you sweetie pie, them call you sugar plum, them call you honey bunch. When Saturday morning come again, and no man a heavy load, no oh man a heavy load, no oh man a heavy load. When Saturday morning come, when the money not enough, when the money not enough, when the money not enough, they love out them mouth on you. But when the man enough, when the man enough, when the man enough, them laugh and talk with you. Pretty pie, them call you honey bun, them call you sugar plum. When Saturday the man in mm -hmm. Good. Then when we go down to the riverside to wash clothes and we beat them on the stones, what is the sound it makes? Pengeleng. Oh yes, the wet clothes go pengeleng. Cleanness is a virtue. Tidiness will not hurt you. Free water down a riverside. Finger lick pan the rock tone. Wash it, make it buy make it simmer. Wash it, make it simmer, make it buy Wash it, make it seem and make it buy a Nancy girl lick on the rock tone. Cleanness is a virtue. Tidiness will not hurt you. Free water down a riverside. Figure lick on the rock tone. Wash it, make it buy a make it seem. Wash it, make it seem and make it buy a. Wash it, make it seem and make it buy a Nancy girl lick on the rock tone. Clap yourself. That was real good. Now we are going to be fixing Yam Hill, ramming Yam Hill with a pole and a flat board. Okay, can we say bull, bull, bull? Bull, bull, bull. 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 Bull, Beg you let me one rope, beg you let me one rope, beg you let me one rope, figure cast the bull. What kind of bull? Me say a war a bull, me say a bull, I mash up me ground. Bull oh bull, bull oh bull, bull I mash up me ground. Bull bull bull, bull bull bull, bull bull bull. Now when I say beg you let me one rope figure cast the bull, what am I going to do? Catch, catch, catch him. Yes, catch him and make a lasso with a, with a, a, a what? A what is at the end of the lasso? It has a? Circle. Huh? It has a loop, you can have a hole. 
is a loop and then I'm going to swing it and cast and catch the ball. Okay, can we do that action when we're singing it this time? Quick, quick. Ball, ball, ball. Ah. Ball, ball, ball. Mm -hmm. Again. Ball, ball, ball. Ball, ball, ball. Ball, ball, mash up me ground. Beg you, let me one rope. Beg you, let me one rope. Beg you, let me one rope. Figure, cast the ball. I say, I want a ball. What kind of ball? Miss Sarah Bull, I mash up my ground. Bull, oh, bull, bull, oh, bull, bull, I mash up my ground. Bull, 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 and clap yourself. Story time. Let us welcome Auntie Amina. Tell her good morning, Auntie Amina. And how are you this morning? All right. Guess what? I have my story part. You know how to start a story? When I say crick, you say crack, okay? Crick? Crack. Right. Here's a story. It's a story about magic. Did you know that people could fly? Yes, they say that a long time ago in Africa, people knew magic and could fly. That they would lift first one foot and then the other just as easily as if you were climbing on a gate. Flap their great black wings against a dark blue sky and fly. They say the people were captured, don't you know? Taken in boats that some of them had to leave their wings behind. Not enough room on the boats. Don't you know? But some they were who remembered their magic, strong as rum in the burning sun like old man Joe. And then there was Sarah, so tall and so beautiful, but so afraid as she worked with the baby on her back. They say that one day, the baby started crying. <laughs> and the one calling himself overseer went and got the one calling himself master, who came with the one calling himself driver, who came with the whip shh, across Sarah's back. <laughs> and the crying grew louder. Shh, and the crying. And Sarah fell on the ground and the crying grew louder. They say when old man Joe had seen enough, he knelt beside Sarah and whispered the magic words. And she said, now father? And he said, now daughter. And she rolled over and lifted first one foot and then the other just as easily as if you were climbing on a gate, flapped her great black wings against a dark blue sky and she was gone over the trees and the houses. They say the one calling himself master made a note of old Joe. But the next day they say first one young man and then another and then another <laughs> fell in the sun. And the one calling himself overseer got the one calling himself master who got the one calling himself driver who came with the whip. Shh. First across the back of one young man, then the other, then the other and they fell. They say when old man Joe had seen enough, he knelt and whispered in the air of first one young man, then the other, the magic word. And they rolled over and lifted first one foot and then the other just as easily as if you were climbing on a gate, flapped their great black wings and they were gone. They say the one calling himself master looked at old man Joe and said, Seize him! They meant to kill old Joe. Don't you know? But old Joe just threw his head back and let the magic work. Flapped his great black wings against the dark blue sky and he was gone over the trees and the houses and the mountains and the clouds. They said he never stopped flying until he got to a place called Freedom, where he saw first one young man, and then the other, then the other, and then the baby, and then Sarah. They say at night, 
the people who had forgotten how to fly would just sit around and talk about the people who could fly. Oh, they loved talking and singing the magic song uh -huh. about flying and freedom. And their children told their children, and their children told their children, and their children told me, and me, I just told it to you. Shh. Don't tell anybody. There were people who could fly. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie Amina. Wasn't that a wonderful story? Yes. But mind how you lift one foot and then the other one, you know, like you're climbing on a gate. Be careful. It's magic.